Hi, I'm Eric Anderson, and I'll be talking about TUI, a user interface framework that I've written in Emacs Lisp. First, I want to talk a bit about the problem space of user interface development. Specifically, I want to quickly illustrate some of the complexities involved with UI implementation in Emacs. In Emacs, we have the ubiquitous buffer object type that forms the container for most content in Emacs. Most inter interfaces we interact with consist of character-based content in a buffer that's presented in a window and frame. Although the underlying content may be textual, Emacs has capable APIs to present rich content. The pervasiveness of buffers affords us wonderful flexibility. This presentation, for instance, is running in an Emacs buffer. Using Emacs's built-in basic button library, we can insert an interactive button that shows a message in a mini buffer when clicked. What about UIs that express application state? Most applications don't have a static UI. As application state changes, the UI should change to display the desired content. One simplifying strategy is to simply re-render the entire UI upon any change. First erase the contents of the buffer, and then reinsert your UI again with desired changes and restore things like point and region. Basic composition is possible with this approach. Simply insert the elements of the UI in sequence. Complex elements can be composed of multiple sub-elements. UIs can be made extensible and expose this composition, for example, with insertion hooks like Magit status sections hook. This generally relies on elements being well-behaved, inserting themselves and not affecting the rest of the buffer. If we find ourselves with complex UIs, large buffers, long lines, or poor rendering performance, we might consider partial UI updates rather than re-rendering completely. In that case, the complexity for maintaining the UI quickly increases. As accessible as buffers are, we don't have high-level abstractions for managing portions of a UI rendered to a buffer. It's left up to the programmer to track and update UI state. This is generally done by one of two methods. Reflection, searching for strings or text properties within the buffer, or tracking segments of a UI buffer manually using numeric offsets or marker or overlay objects. Here we have a basic timer component that shows elapsed time after it's inserted. It works but has several problems. It doesn't restore the user's point or mark, so it snaps back after every render, after every update. It relies on singleton global state, so isn't designed to coexist with other instances of itself. It doesn't use a marker, so it's sensitive to content preceding it, following it, changing in the buffer. The update logic doesn't even consider which buffer it's trying to update. If I switch buffers, it will insert into another buffer or even the mini buffer. It can't remove itself or re-render if it gets corrupted, as you see. All in all, it's not a readily composable component. Addressing these components within this logic further increases the implementation complexity of this com component, and still this component would likely have various subtle differences with other components implemented by other, other authors. For those of you unfamiliar with this term, Yak shaving is a, quote, technical term for any seamless, seemingly pointless activity which is actually necessary to solve a problem, which solves a problem which, several levels of recursion later, solves the real problem you're working on. The itch that led to this project was the desire to display a dense summary of local Git repository statuses, encountering various implementation complexity for building UI elements. It led to the yak shaving endeavor that produced TUI. When I wrote the library, I had recently played with a popular UI framework called React and had an interest in learning about the internal architecture of React. So rather than implement a string caching layer on top of tabulated list mode, I was rather inclined to go down the path of implementing React API for Emacs Lisp. I'll offer a brief view of the TUI Emacs Lisp API. Inserting component 
content is pretty straightforward. You take your component tree and render it in an Emacs buffer. If any elements in that tree are updated, the respective content on the tree is updated automatically. Here's a basic re-implementation of the straw man timer from earlier using a macro for syntactic trigger. You'll notice that the signature includes its own object reference, arguments, and state. Associating, associating arguments and state with a component instance out of the box makes it easy to design reusable components and forms the basis for partial UI updates. The component rendering anchors are durable, so content can be added and removed surrounding content, or even within the region of the component and replaced when it re-renders. Components will also cleanly remove themselves from a buffer when asked, when instructed to. TUI contains the core implementation of the React API, so components, their constituent props, state, and all of the lifecycle methods associated with them, as well as keys, refs, and the fundamental reconciliation algorithm of React. Um, there are a variety of React APIs that other React APIs that haven't been implemented yet. It contains some useful features so far, such as hot reloading, reflection, and uh, various debugging uh, tools, and some reconciliation logging. Lastly, I'd like to give you some a quick visual taste of components built with TUI. The grid view that motivated my development of this package is very similar to Magit's list repositories functionality. Essentially tabulated list mode, but portable and separate, has a separated model and presentation layers. Here's a basic XKCD comic viewer showing a couple classics. A long-standing React tutorial is building a tic-tac-toe game. There's a bit of a gimmick and I'm not quite satisfied with the buffer indirection, but it got me thinking about layout, layout engines with text, so it was interesting. And here's a small Unicode character viewer. Capable of showing a bunch of characters. So if this piques your interest, I would encourage you to check it out. TUI should be usable by anyone with some basic ELISP familiarity. No prior knowledge about Emacs, or sorry, no prior knowledge about JavaScript or React is necessary. Um, I'd absolutely love to talk with people about the TUI package, textual user interfaces in general, and really anything in Emacs. If you have any ideas, feedback, or want to contribute, please reach out. Thank you all for listening.